Ich <laughs> Another man who had an opinion on your son is a former sparring partner of his, Jared Anderson. He said that uh, from being around Tyson in camp, he believes that he's boxing purely for money these days, as opposed to Alexander Usyk, who boxes for his legacy. What do you make of that statement? <laughs> I don't know what that was. <clears throat> um, clearly, this was strange coming from John Fury and asked about somebody that he knew, Jared Anderson. And Jared Anderson just gave his take on it. And then, of course, they're instigating it and asking him what he thinks about it, like, like reporters do. And look how he responded. That response was so bizarre. It was so uncanny. It was almost to the point you're like, okay, or you just don't want to tell us what you mean. Like, I don't, I don't get that interview in someone that is a loss for words, or should I say someone that's never a loss for words is all of a sudden a loss for words. It's kind of weird. It's, that's too damn weird. You know, and I just I, I just come to the conclusion that he's just speechless. You know what I mean? He's speechless because he doesn't really know how to respond. You know, bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, elaborate. And he had no elaboration. He didn't have anything to rebuttal, nothing to counterpunch, nothing to reply on, but just BS. I mean, that's what we're doing, John. I mean, it's bad when someone and, and you know what, and it's and it's worse. When you hear someone explain about your son that is so real and so true that you can't even deny it. You can just say a couple words, bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's just crazy. I mean, that fake ass laugh that, you know, like, dude, I've never seen John Fury like that. I don't know what he's on. I don't know if they change his prescription. I don't know what's up with him. You know, I don't know if he's been put on prescriptions, uh, you know, because obviously, you know, everybody that says anything about Tyson Fury, he has something to say about in regards to uh, his performance or his career as of right now. Fighting Francis and going to a lot of people have a lot to say about that. And he's had a lot to say about them. But when Jared Anderson says it, he's just kind of like. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, that's crazy. I remember a guy that used to do that in high school named Cliff Diggs. Shout out to him. God bless the dead because he's no longer with us. But anyway, he always used to make this comment like, <laughs> and he always does that. And it's like, mm. you know, but it just shows you. And I know what he meant by it. And he meant like, okay. I'm going to laugh, but then I'm going to stop laughing because that shit's not funny. So is he maybe taking it as a joke? I doubt it because, you know, he didn't say bullshit behind it. It's almost like he wanted to lash out, but it was, of course, nothing to really lash out from because Jared Anderson was just telling him or whoever he interviewed what he thought. You know, and that could always be the case in this situation. And I think this is the case where he hears someone that handed Tyson Fury his ass because, see, Another element is Jared Anderson got his steam because he whooped up on Tyson Fury. In fact, you guys don't know this, okay? This is a rumored fact, okay? Jared Anderson put such a whooping on Tyson Fury during sparring in preparation of Deontay Wilder 3 to the fact he moved July 24th to October 9th. It wasn't COVID. In fact, Jared Anderson was COVID. Yeah. Jared Anderson was COVID because that COVID, Jared Anderson, did a number on Tyson Fury. He whooped Tyson Fury's ass in sparring to the fact that he had Tyson Fury, he had John Fury, he had Joseph Spidey Parker, he had all these guys praising Jared Anderson. Okay, so if you guys didn't know that uh, rumored fact, there it is. Okay, so now that same guy that whooped your son's ass in sparring in preparation of Deontay Wilder, 
is telling you and everyone else how it is and you are absolutely clueless on what to say. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of John Fury's bizarre response to Jared Anderson's comments about Tyson Fury not wanting to fight the best, fighting only for money, not for legacy. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.